so that's 16 ton grab and 8 ton skips gone and we still haven't finished digging out yet on the 27th of Feb so uh, it's back to the extension job today to do the drainage but um, before we do that uh, we need to have a clear out customer comments how tidy our van was yesterday so I should have filmed it before before this so here you go Pretty much all that needs coming out. Insulation goes to the next job. Trestles around the back, planks around the back, and we just need to make room because we've got a load of bricks to take away today and drainage to pick up. So anyway, let's get this thing tidied up and get off to work. And we're back the day after the big finish which is the 27th of Feb oh you've already seen us we showed you at the van haven't we so yeah we're back we've got a lot to do here today which isn't fun when you've got a bad leg but <clears throat> we've had the lid up and basically we've got we've got a soil pipe branch coming off on an angle into the corner here for the internal stack which you can see just make out at the top there so the, it's got an internal stack coming down, which is going to drop in there. We're not going to touch that. We've got this gully here, just runs in here, just, it drops in halfway up. It doesn't actually go in, it drops in over the top. So what, and that's the end of the branch. Basically the drains go this way. Well, so, I can it up and show you. Yeah, go on then. My assistant will lift a little for us. There we go. So there you go we've basically got um, that dropping in so we're going to come in here on this corner we're going to have to break that out of the breaker bring our pipe in there so um, leave this in we can, we can work around this so we're going like that to a chamber around the corner and then we're dropping a gully a gully in here into a Y this will be a rodable gully this is for the um, the downspout and the shower coming through there. So that's going to be a rodable gully. Into, so you'll be able to rod it from there to the Y. You'll be able to rod from the manhole up to the chamber here. And then rod back to the waste, the soil pipe, which is, I think it's 1300. So plus your cavity wall, it's going to be 1600. So it's going to be roughly here. So we can start off shallow here, work down here into a small a, like a three branch chamber which will be that way we'll come into that and then down to there and what would you say that's about three foot deep hmm? about three foot deep yeah. yeah so it's got quite a deep dig there and we're gonna have to create quite a hole out there because we've got to get in there and break the concrete from around there <clears throat> those briar creeks are usually concrete rings encased in concrete so luckily we brought that with us so yeah <clears throat> gonna be a long hard day this this is the day we've been dreading but it's here now so let's just get stuck in and get on with it
Should have put the wind muffs on, really. I forgot. Hopefully, you can still hear us. Right, our skip's gone, and our four ton has arrived. And there's nobody facing you. There it's you probably a bit close to where we've, we've got to. Hold on a second. Okay. Yeah, we've got to connect this path up basically. Connect this path up to our new path, which is coming down there and going up there. The, do the digging's just been rock hard. It's took us over a day longer than we hoped. I'll show you. So, I've done this section. Probably took a foot out of that corner. So we've still got all this to go yet, but we're here because this is where our gully starts so we can get on with the drainage now, get the gully in, get our Y to drop into it here, into our chamber. Now I can show you, chamber on the corner, roughly, and then down into the manhole where we'll break in, into the, and on its way down it'll have a wind and pick up that gully. So yeah, we've, we've, so that's 16 ton grab and 8 ton skips gone and we still haven't finished digging out yet. So when people ask me uh, how to price jobs, you don't want to know how I price jobs because <laughs> you won't make any money. But anyway, we're going to get this skip moved over and we're going to get on with the drainage now. The inspector's been out and we're showing what we're doing. He said, yeah, he's happy, he's happy with what we're doing. He just needs to see pictures of it when we're done. So he's not coming backwards and forwards. But luckily, he's seen, he's seen the stuff we've done and he's quite trustworthy. And he's quite happy just to get pictures of it before it gets buried. So yeah, let's get this thing shifted and get carrying on. We've just had lunch and I'm bloody freezing now, so we need to get warm again. Weird. It keeps switching itself on. The GoPro keeps switching itself off. Anyway, I'm mic'd up with the little muff on for the wind. We are way behind now. Way behind. Probably two days behind now with this drainage. We've um, we've actually had to take some of the concrete out of the foundation at the two corners, at the gully and the manhole, to get it down. So so far, we've got that in. About 50 mil below ground level, so we're going to drop this path into this in the centre. Like that into there, and that into there. Because it's the concrete troughs, we can go either side of this and then make it up with sand, cement, or granite, or whatever. Form the so the water will still run round it. Alex just measuring 1335. Cool. I'll hand that to my glamorous assistant. You just spin the pipe as I mark it up, please, mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just using the little the little Bosch with a metal blade on it, which is perfect for doing this and putting the chamfer on. Right. Thirteen thirty-five. 
just putting a couple of um, marks on it so it doesn't go too skew off. You want the cuts as straight as possible so it sits in the socket but nice and snug, especially where a foul pipe's involved. Right, I'll now turn you down in the edit, so you won't hear this as loud as where I will. Okay, ready? Gonna put it down on there. Okay. Just let me flatten it off first. Okay, do you want to, we'll leave that in position, it's all set that so we'll leave that. Yep. Yeah, while I do this then, do you want to get a couple of, a bucket of stone, we'll put a bit more stone around that to get it a bit more stable. If you grab the two foot level as well please Al, these four foot is a bit cumbersome. Ta. I just have to take this out. Why? <laughs> Look, we've got to get that pipe in, haven't we? Oh, mind you, we can just lift all that out, can't we? Yeah, just lift it up and... Yeah, pass me that one, because that's all set, isn't it? We haven't put any, set anything in yet. I'll keep, keep this into position. Hang on, take it out a sec. Okay. Hang on. Oh, my God. Let's make sure it goes in, eh? Let's not risk it. I know she didn't eat all your biscuit. Hmm? I know she didn't eat all your biscuit. Right. Let's drop, let's drop. Go. Down a bit. There you go. Nice, that nice sound. Whoa, whoa, don't. Just move it, just lift it out, take it out. Yeah, no, I was just going to bunch it up and... You need to take the, lift the gully out, because the gully's in the hole, you see. <coughs> see how? What? I've just been glued to the polished iron. Down. Right down. 
There you go. Lovely. Right, just double check. Let's put your level on again, mate. Yeah, stick it, leave it on, mate. That's because he just wants fettling a bit before we put the stone on it. There we go. Plenty fall on that. Into our soil pipe, with again, even more fall. He said he doesn't want too much fall on it though. So now this thing, we just need to level this that way and that way. You always make sure you level your base because the fall is naturally formed in the bottom of the base. So um, yeah, we've got a little, a little bit more to dig out of there and then I'm going to start get down there and get um, breaking with the breaker. So yeah, catch you in a bit. And there you have it, another disappointing day. I thought we'd have this all done today. Here's our, here's our gully, which we had to, I think I've told you this already, we had to cut the concrete down to get it low enough because we need to fall from that side and that side into the gully so that everything comes in here like that and then back that way. Because this is gonna be a concrete path, which we're gonna mix our own I think it comes out like 0.7 of a metre, which get it delivered, it's like getting on for 200 quid. So we might as well just get the stuff ourselves and then um, mix it. We can work our way out gradually then, instead of just having it all piled up and then having to work it, at least we can do it bit by bit, mix it ourselves. And we won't get overwhelmed then. So still got a load of digging to do, but um, it's not as bad now because the skip's here. So we're working our way to the skip. That side, we can actually throw it straight in the skip. That side's very narrow, that path, that's just getting patched up around to the new path, which goes up like that. And I think we're going to take it right up to the footpath, so it slopes from there to there. That's what the customers ask for, for disabled access and what have you in the future. Future-proof it. So yeah, um, there's the old foundation that we took back. And Alex has done all this digging. And you can just see the pipe sticking out there. I can't believe I've got that done in so quick. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it was. Good old evolution again. So you'll just see the pipe sticking out there. It's just been put in position to have a look at it. So that's... So there you go. There's the pipe. So we're going to connect onto that. That's another one of our 15 degree pipes that we didn't have. Luckily I've got three. So that's it. It's going to come into there. All the haunching flaunching whatever you call it benching is all going to get redone so basically it's going to be nice and neat as it was before but with a new pipe coming in uh, that that pipe there that was to the gully over there underneath all that shit so i'm going to see if customer wants it repairing if, if you do i'll just um, knock that out put a band seal on and just put it in plastic so yeah tomorrow again get here early at least get the bedding in get the pipes in and then get it stoned up and backfilled and take a couple of pictures for the uh, building inspector. I must admit, I thought we'd have it a lot further on than this. But I mean, look at all that. That's another ton, ton and a half. That's, and that, most of that's going to go in the skip because it won't be going back in there. It won't be going back in here because you've got your pipe and your pipe bedding. So all this is going to have to go out there. So once we have dug ground, Once we have dug ground there, we can be able to get out easy with the barrows and then we can get rid of all that once it's all level. But yeah, a lot harder, a lot harder and a lot more work than we thought for this bit. But um, it is what it is, you've just got to get on with it. No use moaning about it. I think it's 28th of Feb today, I think I've had two days off this month. 
So I'm ready for a rest. And there you go. I will see you in the morning. Get out of the way. Uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Are you in? Yes. Here you go. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Spinning, so it comes off of it. See that bend? That bend should be more like that so we can get the pipe down lower. Not got much to play with, like. All the way. All the way. A bit more, a bit more. That's it. And it wants to go down. Salted. I'll send them to you so you can send them off to the uh, control. Okay. Do you want to give it a quick test? Yeah. All right. You hold the camera down there when you get a sec. Start at the far gully. Need a full bucket. Give it a good blast. Right, the big test, bone dry as you can see. Alex has the water. So there's the top of our run, the gully, our soil pipe for our toilet, our chamber for change of direction, and then all the way down. So Alex is going to give it, pull that down now, give it a test. Faster than me. Wow. Can 
use that again. It, it, it ran faster than I could. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Beautiful. You catch that other bucket and put that in the other gully, give that a try. Now, get it stoned up, get it backfilled, and carry on with the rest of the work. That's just took us nearly two days longer than we thought it would. Three full, three three meter lengths of pipe went in there. We just about had enough. There's our I've got from nine meters of pipe. In, in my defence, I didn't know there's a gully going halfway down there. So, but it's done now anyway. So, let's get this sorted out and backfilled. After break. So, Dad has done a very good job at getting all that levelled off. Was all that hard work gone now? <laughs> so, I have just uh, put a bit of mortar around there just to stop any crap falling in. And so, I'm going to finish off doing this. And Dad is going to be at the front getting the concrete down for these edgings so that they're going off. Yeah, so they're going off, and that way, when we come to do the tarmac in, They'll be nice and solid in then because the concrete will have gone off. So that's that plan. I'm just going to get this moved and dodge the rain. But at least we're not brick lane in this weather. But yeah, so that's the rundown at the moment because I just thought you may as well get that done while I'm doing this. So I'll uh, get you set up for dad probably because that's more exciting than watching me spade crap into a barra. So. See you there.
Right, excuse the, excuse the wind if it's windy. Sum the, sum the day up in one word. Um, so we can leave in. Beep. <laughs> uh. Dig. Hard, tough, tiring, unfun. Anyway, if I, that's just stepped out of the way. That's what we've got left. Unbelievable, I have no idea. But, well, there you go. We've nearly got four ton out again. That's another four ton. So that takes us up to, when that's full, that's 28 ton of shit we've moved now. This was so much, so much more digging in this than we expected. This part is all just bricks and roof tiles and pebbles. Shite. Yeah. Basically all shite they threw underneath the concrete path. That really bad, hardcore. We've repaired the edgings. So we can tarmac back and move back. Now we can get the whacker under there now. Get that all patched up. And then I think, I don't think we're going to... Customer wants the path level from the top, sloping down. Straight down to the door. But I don't think we're going to be able to do that because I think the slope's going to be too, the gradient's going to be too sharp. Is that what you say? So, so let's see what he thinks about making a, a 150 step there. So you step off the pavement, down onto the path, and then down. So it's a more gradual slope. It's just one step in it then. Thank you. Sorry about, sorry about the wind. Um, too knackered to put the mics on to be honest so uh, we haven't picked the troughs up yet we've got a ton of MOT and a ton of ballast coming tomorrow and cement getting delivered from Fairways we were hoping to get it for today it didn't really matter because we couldn't use them today anyway <laughs> um, yeah there's the bit of concrete we've used for them and the pipe it's sealed up with mortar in the manhole. It just need the benching doing on the inside of the manhole. But that can be done any time. That's no rush for that. So the, the plan is get rid of this and maybe take those blocks with us. Get rid of them today. and then we'll take it from there. When we come back, we will have gone. We will have been to berries. Well, when you see us next, we'll probably be wandering around berries, picking up these troughs concrete troughs because it's a concrete path they'll go well as, as I said you can't take an echo echo drain across because you'd have to stop it well it's going into the gully but we'd have to stop at the soil pipe but with the concrete trough we can go right we can cut either side of that and form it with sand cement so it carries on through around the soil pipe so um yeah oh I'll show you a quick one I think Alex has already shown you this but I'll show you a quick Alex has moved all that shit. So that all needs levelling out, whackering down, a few flags to put back, but you see the shape of it, it's all over the place. And then we're going to come through with, if we've got enough concrete, come through the path here. And there's our, our inspection chamber right in the corner. So there you go, gully, toilet coming into it, change of direction um, chamber, down to the manhole with a Y off for the shower waste pipe. I'll put you on time that's to get this last bit in and then we're going home. I supposed to be going out for tea tonight but <laughs> too knackered. Go, going for a belated Valentine's meal Friday now. Oh you're going to see Ant-Man Ant -Man tonight. Not that, not me. Not Looks shite. <laughs> not a fan of that one. So anyway back on the time let's get this, this last bit whacked out.
Right, I'll try and do. I'm stood in in the van, sort of sat in the van, trying to keep away from the wind. You just make that out now. Following the path through, which is 750 mil roughly, and then it comes out to a meter across the front of the extension. And then we're going to spoke to the customer, and we're going to step down from the edge onto the path. So it's going to be like a 150 step down, and then the slope, then the path's going to slope down and meet the other path. And he wants either a tamp or brush finish on it just to give it a bit of grip. No trial finish on this one, so that's good. Um, yeah, again, I'm going to come up here, run it down to the gully, run it back up to the other end, and then we're going to see what we'll do around the corner. The stuff's coming tomorrow from Fairwoods, which is the two bulk bags and the cement, and we've got to go to Berry's first thing. We'll go for a rope drop at half seven to pick up these these concrete trough things that we need. I'm going to have a measure up and see exactly how many we need. So um, that's the plan. Thank God the digging's over, and we've, yeah, I'd say we've put four ton in there. Absolutely knackered. Way more digging than I was expecting, but um, it generally is, isn't it? So that's 28 tons been dug out of there now. So we'll catch you. In the